And then in the Azores, um, I was not prepared for the level of beauty that we encountered. Uh, there is a level of beauty that I've only experienced two, maybe three times in my life that sort of leaves you physically sick, like ill. It's so beautiful that your your body is the weak link. Like you, you might think that sugar is tasty, but if you were to eat a bag of sugar, you'd probably be sick to your stomach. And I would say this was like so much beauty that it was at an almost pathological level and more than more than I think my family could really take in. We were on the way to the beautiful Azores Islands. We discovered this island during COVID era. We were looking for a place to escape from this madness. And we wanted to make decision if Azores would be a place to live for us. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. I'm Christy and today we got to the Azores. We're so excited seeing the city. What's the plan, Mike, for today? The plan is uh, we arrive on the island of San Miguel. So we're just gonna do Ponta Delgada because we were gonna have a scooter but uh, unforeseen circumstances arrived so we won't have a scooter for today so we're just gonna walk around the city. Um, the Airbnb own owner, she sent us heaps of spots to check out so it should be alright, should be a good day. Let's get into it. Ponta Delgada is the biggest city of the Azores Islands. Charming cobblestone streets, cute cafes, and centuries-old architecture. I reckon like a few more years, when it's gonna start getting more popular, they're gonna you know, refurbish all that stuff, make it look like newish and nice like they do in, um, in Europe. Yeah. You know, but we are in Europe, in Eastern Europe. <laughs> If you are searching for typical summer vibe holiday with a lot of shops and nice sandy beaches, Azores is definitely not a place for you. What do you think, Mike? Interesting pumpkin soup. So yeah, it looks like uh, Azorians do what Polish people do. They put some kind of sweet juice into beer. We've seen a lot of water activities happening in Ponta Delgada, especially whale watching and swimming with dolphins. So yeah, if you watch the series uh, Rabo de Pesh, on Netflix, don't remember the English name of it, but that's that's the original uh, Portuguese name. So there was a scene when he was escaping from the prison. So that's exactly the wall where he jumped off. That was filmed here. Come on! Dai, dai. You have to put the helmet on first. You have to put that on so we can leave. Let's go. The Azores has a fantastic climate and fertile land, which means the islands are all self-sufficient and don't need to import food from mainland Portugal in order to survive. This would be a perfect reason to move here if you would like to start an off-grid. If you ever come to the city, you cannot skip these pineapple plantages. It takes about two years for pineapples to grow on the Azores. They are grown in glass houses with the roof painted white in summer and left clear in the winter. 
you can visit the various glass houses with the different stages of pineapples growing in each. Sao Miguel is the only place in the world where pineapples are growing in greenhouses. Although the island is home of over 6,000 pineapple plantages, but only a selection of them are open to the public. Mm. Yummy! Pork puffs are very small here. The next stop on our journey today were a couple of different gardens. In total you can find five different ones around the city. Wow! That's amazing! That is beautiful. These magnificent trees came here all the way from Australia, same as two of us. That's my point. Walking around the streets is almost a cultural experience. The architecture is very pretty and nothing I have ever seen before. It's a completely unique experience. We're thirsty, so we're gonna have some drink. We are entering the second gardens and we found this cute restaurant. So the first park was actually 5 euro per person and this one is public and there is no payment. So if you're looking for something, definitely recommending this bigger one. We love nature and gardens are always great to visit. <laughs> However, nothing can be compared to the wild raw nature outside of the city. When we started I was a little warm going up the hill. Now I got uh, quite cold sitting in the restaurant and uh, it's getting warmer again, so uh, make sure you bring all types of clothing. Which one did you like better, Mike? This one. Me too. <laughs> we burned way too many calories walking around and now it's time to top up on energy. enough daytime for today we go have a rest and then we're gonna check the city out at night on the way to our Airbnb we could compare the old and the new architecture of the apartment buildings never overdone. We were at the biggest city of the Azores, so we thought before we jump into the jungle we will enjoy some luxury. We wanted to book as fancy dinner as possible on these islands and we found this gorgeous hotel. It's two farms, the translation, and uh, this one is like the red fruits with some wood. The red wine from Azul is different for than others. Mm -hmm. The red wine is more mineral, more salty. You can choose from a buffet or the a la carte menu. This is as luxury as it gets at the Azores. Thank you so much for joining us at the Azores Adventure. 
We spent in total three weeks at the Azores and we filmed every single day. In the next episode I'm going to take you to a beautiful lake. You can see a nice architecture of a church and other buildings and we also gonna visit a beautiful waterfall. The next step will be volcanic hot springs where they made us a traditional food cooked at the actual volcano. And on the way on our scooter we are going to take you for these miradoros what are amazing viewpoints all over the island. Let's go! Please subscribe to my channel so you can follow on this journey and I will see you again in my next video. Have a wonderful day! Bye!